guys know they struggle with trying to make a wig without a wig stand i mean like this thing is not just going to stay in place Ugh, so annoying and then we have to deal with the putting your wig head in between your legs and adjusting it every five seconds i mean like what the hell this thing drives me crazy Ugh, it gets so frustrating all the time i mean like why why are they so expensive Ugh. And then he hit me. I had this idea. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a wig stand with PVC pipes. Let's get into the video and see how I did that. So, get a list of things you're going to need for this video, and you can screenshot this part right now because this is all the instructions and kind of a layout of how I'm placing things together. So, just screenshot this part right now. So I'm just showing you my L connectors, T connectors, my pipes, and the various lengths. So you're going to start by measuring your pipe. I already cut the two five centimeters. Since you need four of them, I'm just going to show you how I cut them. So first, you mark them with an exacto knife. And then you take a bigger knife, probably like a bread knife, and then you cut it down in the middle. I already cut the other parts when I bought the PVC pipes. I gave the length and they did it for me. So if you don't have the means of doing that, you can use a bread knife. That's what I did. And then you cut it around and when you do that, it's going to be easy to just break right in the middle. So I'm going to use this outline I have here to just piece everything together. So first, I'm going to start by connecting the 8 centimeter pipes. I think that's going to be the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect the 5 centimeter pipes. I just realized I forgot to put this in inches, but you can always convert that yourself. So for the ones which are really, really small, you're just going to use the electrical tape and wrap it around and it's going to fit properly. So once you've done that and you're ready to connect all the pieces together, I'm going to connect the 5 centimeter pipes to the 8 centimeter pipes and then I'm going to use the 20 centimeter pipes and I'm going to connect them to the elbows and yeah, this is just how the stand is going to look like. I think it's pretty firm for the wig and then you're just going to take your the longer one, the 120 centimeter which is like 1 meter 20 and then you're going to just connect it to the the thing the hole that's missing anyways uh so now i'm showing you guys that my wig head is it's kind of big the pipe is kind of big for my wig head so in order to fix this little problem we are going to do something i really really love and it is dangerous so please if you are younger than 18 you should have a parent supervise anyway so to solve the issue you're going to use a heat source using your gas is way faster but because i don't want to be moving in between the kitchen and my room i just decided to use a candle to demonstrate so you take the heat source or the hot thing and you like put it around the perimeter of the PVC pipe. It's going to melt, not really melt, it's going to make it softer as you can see now. And then all what you can do is just to bend it into shape. And if you want to do that firmly, you can use some paper or a or some fabric or whatnot so it doesn't burn your hand. And then after doing that, you're going to just put it down to make sure that it fits okay. And then you're just going to start wrapping the you're going to start wrapping the electrical tape around it to make sure that it is thick enough so that it doesn't move as much when you put the mannequin head on the stand. So yes, what we have and this is the stand guys. I am so excited. I mean like this turned out so well and it's really really cheap. So yeah, it's a bonus video and this one if you watch my vlog you saw me doing this. So basically this is my old phone tripod and then I'm just going to take off the pad that I put my phone on and then I'm going to cut off that place under there. 
and here is the one I already cut like this is the one I'm currently using so I cut that off and then you just put some electrical tape around the head to make it thick enough so that when you put your mannequin head it doesn't bounce up and down and there you guys that is basically it's just like so easy so there you have it your two for one video if you liked this video don't forget to share with friends subscribe and i'll see you in my next video i love you guys peace